This video is going to be a rant, so honestly, feel free to just not watch it if you don't want to. I got a comment a couple hours ago, and I'm not calling out this person, but they left a comment saying, why is he calling variables pointers? And this is in reference to some like random video I made about this like Silicon Valley clip where they have a linear scan. And I referred to this index as a pointer. A pointer uh, at the beginning, element, sorted list, get the value at the pointer. Does it equal this element? It's a variable, it's an integer. It tracks like the index of an array, I believe. And I called it a pointer. Now, somebody tell me, am I wrong? Like, I really need uh, like somebody to tell me that because I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. I feel like my head is about to explode. And I got this comment several time on that video. Look, I'm getting confused with you calling pointers to variables. And there's several bro calls an index a pointer. How the hell is this a pointer? I got a lot of I got a lot of comments about this. Now, to be completely honest, the main reason I called it that is because in data structures and algorithms, there's many algorithms that use like this term pointer and they use it differently than technically like the formal definition, which I think the people in the comments were referring to. For example, in languages like C and C++, there is like a technical uh, feature of this language, which is called a pointer. Basically, you have, let's say, your memory or RAM for short, you can have some variable, uh, let's call it int star, and I'm just gonna call it x for whatever. And so this variable will store the location in memory of something, and since it's an integer, it will probably be four bytes. And using a pointer, not only can you get the address, like that's what this stores, but if you dereference the pointer, you can get the actual data stored at that location. So that's technically like what a pointer is. I know that I learned C as my first programming language. Pointer is definitely used in many other contexts in data structures and algorithms. Sometimes it's also used, I think at least I've heard it used many times to refer to some location on disk. Now, maybe the person who was using that was technically incorrect because usually it does refer to memory, but I don't think there's anything that wrong because it still stores an address, uh, you know, not to memory, but to disk. And there's some data stored on disk, like in file systems, when you're tracking nodes, like data nodes, inodes, and things like that, I've heard it used in that context. And even more than that, what I said, specifically what I was saying is you have, let's say an array, which, you know, data of an array is stored in memory. And I said the pointer I, some integer, it was not a pointer, it was not technically a pointer, it was an integer storing the position of an array. Just in case some people don't know this, when you have an index, the reason index starts at zero is it's the offset. For example, you have an array. Why does the index start at zero? Because it's saying get the first block. The offset is zero. You're starting to read from the beginning. I concede technically I used the term incorrectly. I should have just said index. I should have said position. But I think anybody like who is watching that clip or video, you should know what I'm talking about. Like, I think they're being overly pedantic. It's not entirely incorrect to say that this is a pointer, including outside the context of data structures and algorithms. It is pointing at a location. And even more than that, suppose that the name of this array is called like ARR. It's something like this. If you wanted the first location, you could do this R plus I and then uh, dereference that. This is why indexes start at zero. The offset is zero. When it's one, you get the second value. The offset is one. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. You can make fun of me all you want. I don't care.